Hi, I'm Tech and welcome to Underground Mods and today we're going to give you an overview slash tutorial of Driver Fusion. Now what Driver Fusion is, is a program that allows you, it's a driver download program. Basically you install it and it goes out and gets all the drivers for all the hardware on your computer. Um, it's a paid it's a paid software as you can see I have the the premium edition <coughs> and I bought it I can't remember because I have been having it for so long I bought it for I think it was on sales so it, it's either between 17 to 20 dollars and I bought it for like um a year or two I'm not too sure <coughs> now the reason why I purchased it is because I was tired of actually having to go out and look for drivers for a particular computer, com computers, laptops, or various hardware. I was just tired of looking for certain drivers and like I wouldn't get certain things to work and I'd spend a lot of time looking for drivers. So I've tried a lot of different um, driver software but for me um, driver fusion seems to work flawlessly now <clears throat> the way driver fusion works is um, you do a health check so you do you click scan ah I don't need it to back up anything but we're just gonna let it run so <clears throat> what it's gonna do is um scan your entire your your entire um, hardware for any current drivers that it have and any drivers that are outdated and any drivers that it's missing now I don't use um, driver fusion to back up my um, drivers I use another program for that I just solely use driver fusion to update drivers and maintain drivers that's it now I have the the premium edition. I have it for I think um, ten or plus PCs, which technically you can install it on one PC and just log in on other PCs with the same account, and it it'll work. So I don't understand why they have like a plus or more license when it doesn't allow you to actually log in even if you have a plus or even if you have the software that allows you to install it on 10 or more devices it's not going to give you 10 or more accounts to log in with it so even when you log in with your the same account if it'll, it's just weird like when you log into the same account if I'm logging here and I and I go somewhere else and I accidentally leave my login I accidentally leave this computer logged in to the software I won't be able to log in after I install it on another computer which for me I don't understand why they did it that way because I, I got the multi license so I should be able to log in on as many PCs that the software allows me to log in on and just let it run but that's for another day <clears throat> so after you see here it does its um or it, a lot it it does it it scan so and it just found all the drivers that technically it can back up but we don't want it to back up anything and it didn't find any out of date <coughs> drivers and it didn't find any missing drivers um, it's not going to install these two because I just did a previous um, update so there's actually nothing to see for it to um, update <coughs> so we're just going to continue with um, the overview of the uh, software so device control is basically um, information on the device that you have installed on your computer that's all it is so you you click on it 
and it gives you um, relative information on the device. And you can change some settings like power state, mapping, and compa um, compatibility or power comp <clears throat> power compatibility. And that's relatively about it. So, I mean, there is a free version. You can use it for free for a while. So you can just download it, check it out to see if you like it, and then go from there if you want to purchase it or not. <clears throat> so driver family basically is just uh, overview of it's an overview of um, the different classes of devices within a specific range or it's easier to so if you have like it's all the brands and manufacturers in a group that's about it and then monitoring, it's the same thing. Um, you've pretty sure I'm pretty sure you've seen all kinds of monitoring software. So it does it gives you information on <clears throat> your computer load, your graphics card, your hard drive, hard drives, and your RAM. That's about it. Desktop, there's nothing on my desktop to see, so nothing would um, show up there. And history, history is actually the changes that you made to your, um, the driver histories that you, you made using the software over time. That's it. So it's a, like I said, the reason why I got this is because I hated searching for drivers to keep, to update systems when I did a fresh install. <clears throat> That's it. So I'm Tech, welcome to Underground Mods, and this has been an overview of Driver Fusion. See you guys on the next one.